Yep. Clap twice if you can hear me. Clap twice if you can hear me. Oh, that was better. How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for coming to visit us in Prescott. And if you're a local like myself, I'm a local now, I've been here for five days. It's Prescott. So that's what we've learned while we've been here. So thank you very much for coming. The students did a wonderful job here. We had such a great time. We did things like play a lot of activities. They had a no. What race did you guys have today? They had a school ping pong ball race today. So they learned a lot of, about a lot of character values, teamwork. Oh, perseverance today was great. We all hiked Grand Canyon. We saw a lot of squirrels. Are there squirrels in Phoenix? Yeah. yeah. All right, they act like they never saw a squirrel before. So. so we saw a lot of squirrels, things like that. So we're going to have a great concert for you guys today. All these students, they got their music on Monday. We gave them Wednesday off because hiking is harder than we thought. And we had to nap. And then they've been working for four days straight, about four hours, three hours a day. And they've been doing a lot of great things. So we're going to start with our piano players. And they got to learn how to play three, pian three players on one piano. And before they come up, I'm going to remind you guys, if you can turn off your, your ringers to your cell phone so that we do not disturb our performers. The other thing is you'll see some reserve for paparazzi, so I can move them now. We all know the rules. If your child is performing, you can come up to the paparazzi chair. And if they are not, you are not allowed to be in the paparazzi chair. Bathrooms are through these doors and to the right, next to that next entrance. And I think that we're going to be good. So you guys excited for some music? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to have our first group of performers come up and introduce Michelle Aylor. 
Can we get another round of applause for some of our blue label players? famous group coming up, Jaden Aiden Praise. We come out with an album called Aiden and Aiden and Aiden. And <laughs> <laughs> the album is called. And they're gonna do a little debut performance for you guys here today. So here they come, Jaden Aiden Praise. <laughs>
Grosso by Corelli. Permission, I'm gonna to get to post the video 
Okay, but it was a good dance party. Uh, what else did we do? We also oh, we had a jazz session. We learned how to play some jazz. We had some great soloists, and we explored our creativity with jazz as well. We got to do a CJ and blues, and they learned a the bossa nova as well. Um, and I think just like exploring the piano with two people on the piano was also great. And so you guys are going to get to hear one more group with two on the piano. You guys have a cool name? The name of this, what? The Bros? All right, so now we have a new group called The Bros, and they're going to come and introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Daniel, and we'll be playing two pieces. The first one called Symphony Number no. 94, and the second one, Hungarian Dance. which I thought was awesome. So we're going to talk about that. After we have a wonderful performance from our wonderful teachers and staff, and they're going to be performing for you guys today. So please welcome the teachers. Yeah. 
Creativity Award. Our Creativity Award goes to. Right, before I tell you that, um, <laughs> Prince Alcido. Gets to Starbucks, Cold Stone, and Chick fil A. <laughs> and later on, we'll discuss which one you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna call, man, these, I mean, these five individuals are very awesome. You know, so here's the thing about the Grand Canyon. 
<laughs> they tell you that it's big. You visit Grand Canyon? Yeah. Like they tell you that it's big. You're like, all right, it's gonna be big, right? You get that. You're like, oh my goodness, it's big. You're like, I told you it's big. <laughs> and when we came up with this camp, it's like, oh, this camp's gonna be cool. And I'm I'm I came up with the camp. Like I knew what I wanted. And then Miss Amanda helped with something. And like we as a staff were like, we're gonna do this, do that. And then you parents like Put things in our head like, oh, we didn't think about that. Let's do that. And the students did that too. And when I tell you this camp was cool, like you had to be here to be like, oh, this camp was cool. Be like, we told you it was cool. <laughs> like it was really cool to see. And with this, these five individuals, like you'd see them in all aspects of something. So we're going to call all five of you up at the same time. Miss Callie Worthen. <laughs> cello at about 8.47. We're like, where are you going? He's like, I just got done practicing with Aaron. We're like, all right, cool. Like, they sneak out to go practice. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zachariah Ham. Counselor of the summer. Now, here's the thing about our counselors. I knew they were awesome, but they're like the Grand Canyon. They were like super awesome. Like, I knew I told you they're awesome, but I, they were super, super duper, super, super <laughs> duper awesome. And oh, I gotta tell you something I said last night about your students. We're sitting there talking, and they go, "I can't wait for this concert. They're so awesome. You should see them play, man. It makes me want to go back and start playing." And stuff like that. So all our, our alumni, or so our counselors are alumni students. So they were in Sounds Academy, and now they came back to help with this. And so our counselor of the summer is Mr. Raymond Zhao. <laughs> out of hairs. I came in probably three times to give a thumbs up. Um, you hear stories about how energetic they are. You hear stories about the togetherness, things like that. They sat down, looked through a bunch of music, tried to figure out what are we going to teach these students. They rotated. They worked as a solid unit. And when I tell you, you guys are so close in voting, one person gets the award, but I'm giving all of you something. <laughs> Patty Barton.
what we're going to do now is the council is going to take the students back into the dorm so that they can pack, make sure everything's packed, make sure all their linens, sheets, towels, stuff like that are in the pillowcase.